Hi, my name is Shiro Kimani. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll, I'll be showing you how to make buttercream frosting, and we'll be covering a cake with buttercream frosting. So it's a very simple method, and it's what I want us to do today. So the first thing we'll do is to assemble everything that we need. So with me here, I have 250 grams of margarine, and then I have icing sugar. I just want to show you. I have icing sugar here. What we will do to our icing sugar is that we will sieve it. That is why with me here I have a sieve. And then I have milk. I have milk with me. This is the type, the type of icing sugar that I'm using. And then the last thing I have is color. It's just any, any color. So the first thing when you're making buttercream frosting, first your icing sugar has to be more than your buttercream. So the reason why we sieve our icing sugar is to allow air bubbles. So I'd already sieved my icing sugar, but just, just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll just show you how you're supposed to sieve it. So at this point, we'll begin to add a little bit of our icing sugar as we beat our butter. So I'll just pour in a little bit, just a little bit, as I continue beating my butter. you to notice something the color of margarine that we had before has changed now and it's because of beating it with a with the hand mixer if and when we are at this juncture what we can do we can choose to color our buttercream or you can choose not to color it but it, but for mine i'm choosing to color it with a blue color put a bit and then i'm going to whip it We've made our buttercream frosting. I now want to show you how to decorate a cake with buttercream. If you have any problem with how to bake a cake, I did a tutorial on how to bake a simple cake. You can just check it on my YouTube channel. And we'll just put in a buttercream on top. I just want to flatten it. And because I put excess on top, just flatten it to the sides what I'm using is called a palette knife you can get it at any cake shop this is called a scraper so the first time what we did is that we just put buttercream on our cake it doesn't have to be perfect that's why we are using a scraper this is what will make it perfect so I put my scraper at a specific at one specific point and then what I'll do is just let it go around And this is how the final touch looks like. So in my next video, I'll be showing you how to make drips as well as write names on a cake. So make sure to subscribe and probably ring the bell so that you get a notification when those videos go out. Till next time, bye bye.